Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney World. We're starting off in Epcot because it is St. Patrick's Day. Today is St. Patrick's Day. That's why I got the green hat, green mask, green undershirt, green necklace, and hopefully soon I'm gonna be getting a green beer. And then I think we're gonna hop over to another park because on St. Patrick's Day, it's also spring break. So this is my one only reservation for spring break. So I wanna make sure I get to multiple parks and do a little park hopping. Anywho's, let's go do this. I have been hanging on to this reservation for just about two weeks because I always make it a tradition to come to Epcot on St. Patrick's Day, get a green beer at the Rose and Crown, and just enjoy the day. But because this is my only reservation and Disney sold out of reservations until the 22nd, I want to throw a little park hopping in and try to get the most of it since I won't be back for another week and a half. Unless a park reservation pops up then in that case I will be back before then and it'd be nice to see how park hopping actually is going on right now During these very very big crowds during spring break How long does it take to actually get from one park to another using Disney transportation? Hopefully today we find out and just have a great day it is really cool to see everyone dressed up in green and hanging out in the UK pavilion because this is the place to be for St. Patrick's Day at Disney. I believe you can get the green beer at the stand out front or actually in the Rose and Crown pub. And I think we're gonna go into the pub because I feel like it's more authentic, you know? Gotta get the green beer in the pub. Funny though, because there's almost no line for the Rosen Crown, but the stand over there has about 15 people in it. So maybe a lot of people are just grabbing their beers there. You can actually grab a table or you can just grab drinks to go at the bar. I think we're gonna grab a table because it is first come first serve. They're doing uh, refurbishments over here in the dining room. So it's nice to actually see this open. I don't think they normally do have it open. I think it's just because they know a lot of people are gonna be here this year. I think it's nice enough to come outside and actually sit and uh, drink a green beer out here. Very beautiful back here. Look at all of the available patio seating and you get to watch the friendship boats going by. I like this. This is so beautiful back here. Wow. Basically, you can get any of the beers that you want green. Uh, they just add a little green dye into it, but I think I'll go with like a harp and that way it's a little bit of a darker green. You can get Guinness like dyed green, but it'll just like not even look green. It'll just look like Guinness. But if you do get the cider, then it's super like neon green. I ordered two beers because I have a friend that's gonna be joining up with me, but I think she's running a little late, so I might have to drink both of them. Anyways, look at how green that is. I love it. And I guess happy St. Patrick's Day in Slanchi. It's so funny because I've been coming here on St. Patrick's Day for three years now. I've made, this would be my third year making a vlog of just coming here and getting green beer. I remember one year I came and I was giving out green fedora hats. I think that was last year actually. Uh, oh wait, no, last year got canceled. So, I mean, I would have been here. So technically this is the fourth year and I'm just so happy to be here. Even though I do miss the hype atmosphere of like going into a crowded Rosen Crown, I kind of like the way they do things now because before it was really hard to get a drink. Like you would have to literally like kind of like scoot up between like 20 different people just to get to the bar to be like, hello, apple martini please. And uh, now it's just a little bit easier. They, they call you in, you get a number, you grab your drink and you go. Or you come back here, sit down at a table and then uh, somebody brings you a drink either way I'm really liking these new things here well my friend never came so I ended up drinking them both and now I think I'm gonna move along oh well I gotta finish though I guess we'll catch the Skyliner and hop on over to Hollywood Studios but like I said first I gotta finish up so happy St. Patrick's Day <laughs> It is such a beautiful day out. I'm just happy to be out and about in the parks. And like I said, we're gonna head on over to the gondolas and take a ride over to Hollywood Studios. And we're gonna be seeing like some nice views on the way because the sky is just so beautifully blue. There's not a cloud in sight. 
Look at that. Epcot is open till 11 p.m. tonight, which is the latest I've seen it open in such a long time. And we'll probably have to come back here later on, but now we're gonna hop on the Skyliner and we're actually gonna see how long it takes to get to Hollywood Studios. The only thing is, is there's no line. Like there's no line at all. And I was thinking that it would be super packed because it's spring break weekend. There's not a, a park reservation available to grab for guests with resort stays or theme park tickets or even annual pass holders. So I guess we're just, uh, we're, we're in a good spot right now. <laughs> I was really thinking maybe there would be like a long line. Now at the end of the night is when the long lines actually appear. I remember one time waiting almost 45 minutes to get on the Skyliner and that was like at the end of the day. So the parks were closed and, and it was everyone that was getting back to their resorts. But either way, sometimes it's better to take the Skyliner than the buses. You know, a lot of people always worry about the temperature of the Skyliner and I think on a really hot day it's a good idea to take a ride because I think it's so breezy and it can definitely cool you down. 105. Oh. 105. Oop, there we are. Oh, sit right in the middle here. It's a good spot. Now make sure that all of your windows are open because that's where you get all the breeze from. Oh, and here we go. Wow, that's beautiful. Here is a look at the future Remy's Ratatouille adventure. Everything's ready to go. We're ready to go for the 50th anniversary. It is so breezy and relaxing in here. I love it. Now I can see the Tower of Terror and Galaxy's Edge over there. This is such a great idea. <laughs> Look at that, right there, that's the Tower of Terror. And here is all the different Skyliners. These ones are heading into Epcot and we're heading our way to the roundabout. This is the only roundabout right here. It's so cool though. We're coming up on the Speedway gas station right here. I like to stop here and get hot dogs sometimes. They have pretty good deals. It is like the coolest Speedway gas station like around because it literally has Spaceship Earth as its background. Like that is awesome. Oh, we're coming up on my favorite spot. I love going down into station. I think it's so thrilling. Here we go, we're swooping down in. <laughs> Steady. Oh, 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 oh. Whoop. Thank you. Now, since we don't actually have to get out of the vehicle, we can just wait and we're gonna take us right to the loading station at Pop Century. And that's where we're gonna actually have to get out hop to Hollywood Studios. But so far it's only been about a uh, 10 minute journey and now people are heading into the parks right there and we're taking off. Can't sit here. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to park here. Yep, yep. Ooh, thank you. Now we're at Central Station and uh, we're gonna have to find the entrance to Hollywood Studios, it says this way. So I'm thinking maybe that way or do we have to get a line here? I'm not sure. There we are, Disney's Hollywood Studios. No line to get on here. It looks like everyone's heading to Epcot, but we're heading to Hollywood Studios. Oh, we're gonna get 201. I want Chippendale. We gotta race it. Hi, one. Yeah, thank you. Now we're landing into Hollywood Studios. That literally took probably under 20 minutes to get from Epcot to Hollywood Studios. I love it. That's really awesome. I love how the Hollywood Studios loop music starts as soon as you get off the gondolas. Really makes it like really inviting. Hollywood 
Hollywood Studios is set to close at 8 o'clock tonight. And like I said before, Epcot is open till 11, which is amazing. Because you know, on St. Patrick's Day, that's the spot. That's where you want to be. But I was looking for a little bit of boat today. I think I actually might stop at Starbucks and maybe get myself a coffee. I need that. I actually wonder if they have any special St. Patrick's Day offerings here. I don't know, we'll see when we get up there. Looks like they got an Irish cream cold brew. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Good, good. I think I'm going to take an Irish cream cold brew. Uh, what price would you like to do for that? Grande. Huh? Oh yeah, a little Irish cream cold brew. I like it. Now that I'm at Hollywood Studios, I'm not even quite sure what I came here for. But I got a coffee. Oh, that's delicious. Ooh, got a little bit on my lip. Oh, it's still there. Still there. There we go. <laughs> wow, this is super delicious. Usually I get a nitro cold brew with sweet cream, but look at that in there. I really, really enjoy this. Hey, Nate. I was thinking about checking on the wait times and maybe going on a ride since I'm here and I'm kind of like shocked because you know this is supposed to be the busiest week of like the year and uh, I think Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is at like a 20 minute wait. It really looks like nobody's waiting for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and look here is Mickey right there. Oh this is fancy and they're playing Nothing can stop us now. <laughs> Look at that. This is amazing. 15 minute wait. Did they say 15 minutes? That's fancy. I know, right? 15 minutes. Oh, nice. Thank you. 15 minutes. This is so amazing to me that it's a 15 minute wait mid afternoon and uh, one of the busiest weeks of the year. They're just literally loading people right into the Chinese theater. I love it. They're just swooping in right there and then going around and then coming out right there. Oh, while we were in line, it jumped up to a 20 minute wait though. Extra five minutes, I don't mind because this is just perfect for me. No eating or drinking beyond this point. I am so excited to ride this ride because I wasn't expecting to get on it so quickly. <laughs> oh, I'm in the back of the train. I can't even believe that. It was even less than 20 minutes. It was literally like a 10 minute wait. Walked right on and now we're in the back of the train. Testing.
absolutely amazing. I love Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's such a fun ride. I love the music and all the different scenes. It really is like one of my favorite rides now. Now I think since it's still like daylight out, maybe we'll head back to Epcot. I'm not sure if uh, I'll take the Skyliner or if I should walk or take a bus. I, I feel like the Skyliner would be the best at this option. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That was super nice. I love running into people that watch the videos. I always like to say hi, so if you do see me out in the parks, please say hi. I love it. I really do. I also feel like I spoke too soon. And look at the line to get on the gondolas from Hollywood Studios. End of the line back here. Oh, which one are we going to get here? Not 229. No, no. Maybe 288. Oh, fancy. That's the one. Oh, away we go. This skyline is going to be amazing. I can already see like this golden hour just happening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway. Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. I am really impressed with the park hopping during spring break. We hopped in between Epcot Hollywood Studios, and it took less than an hour to go there and back. And plus, we rode Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I mean, this is impressive. Oh, we're taking off. Ooh. Wow. The skies are beautiful with continuing flights to Epcot. Look at that. Amazing, right? Hold on to your straw hats. We are about to enter the heart of the Caribbean. In just a minute, we will be arriving at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney Vacation Club resort that celebrates the relaxing seaports and romantic vistas of Europe's Mediterranean coast. This really is such a beautiful Skyliner ride. I highly suggest doing this because it is breathtaking up here. So if you find yourself out and about in the parks with nothing to do and it's around like 7 o'clock, hop on the Skyliner and catch a sunset. You won't regret it. That was a fantastic ride. I'm happy we went on a little Skyliner trip. Skyliner in flight. And now we are back at Epcot. Oh. What a journey, and I'm so happy just to be able to hang out here at night. 11 o'clock. I still can't get over that. I think it's amazing. It is definitely getting a little bit dark out. I think I need to start looking for a place to get something to eat. I've been in the mood for teppanito, mainly just the noodles and like the zucchini, but I don't know if you can order just that. So we're going to see what reservations are open because when I checked the app, there was almost nothing. I half thought about just grabbing some fish and chips and hanging out at the Rosen Crown all night. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a pretty good deal, especially on St. Patrick's Day. But I've been really craving those noodles from Tapanito. So, I don't know. We'll play it out. I kind of like days like this because they just go with the flow. Like, I don't know. I have no plan. I literally just start taping and journey my days. I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. I think I'm going to get some fish and chips and hang out on the Rosen Crown and drink more green beer on St. Patrick's Day. Also, I'm going to meet up with some friends. This time I think I'm going to sit inside because the AC is really nice and I like the atmosphere. I should have done this earlier because this is much more cooler. I actually feel like I'm having a beer in the Rosen Crown right now. You know what I mean? Oh, and I did meet up with my friend Erica. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I like your shirt. Thank you. It's very Thank fancy. You. I get to wear it once a year. And uh, we're going to get a green, uh, a green pint. Yes, we <laughs> This is a much better experience than outside. I'm really enjoying my time in here. Just seeing everyone come in and they're grabbing their drinks and they're leaving. And we're just sitting here and drinking our green beer. Can't go wrong. 
And here are the fish and chips. Now these are different than if you ate at the Rose and Crown dining room. And I'm excited because I don't think I've ever had it. I've only eaten fish and chips inside this dining room before. So kind of a new experience, but it looks good. And fish and chips is uh, such a good thing to eat on St. Patrick's Day, I think. All right, well, I'm gonna try this. Here we go. <laughs> That is very, very delicious. Reminds me of Long John Silver's, but <laughs> Long John Silver's is definitely not as good. I really enjoy this. And I like the fries too, or the chips. I have been actually doing this all wrong today because I've been getting a green harp, but they do have like a beer flight. And I just found out that if I get the beer flight, I can get all of them green. So I think I'm gonna do it. I mean, that way I can try four different green beers and I think that would just go perfectly well. And just take a look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Now, of course, this is the Guinness. And like, like I said before, you really can't tell it's green, but as it gets, you know, from darkest to lightest, you can really see the green popping out. So I'm gonna assume that this one is the cider. Definitely the cider. So I guess cider first. That wasn't the cider. <laughs> that was not the cider. I think that was the heart. Kind of crazy because I thought the lightest one would be the cider, but I was bamboozled. Fun fact, I recently found out there are no ciders. Yep, yep, <laughs> there are no ciders in this flight. So, uh, yep, that was the heart. <laughs> I think it is very interesting how there's almost nobody waiting to get a drink at the Rose and Crown on St. Patrick's Day. It's kind of crazy, right? Look at that. Empty bar. I just finished the Bottinghams and take a look at the green foam, like on the outside of the cup. Look at that. That's just foam coming down. Very interesting. It looks like I just had a Shamrock shake. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I had a share mark shake in there. <laughs> so as I was sitting here in the Rose and Crown, somebody actually sent over a Dublin drop, and that was really nice. And they did it like without even like telling me who it was. And so if you sent this over, thank you and happy St. Patrick's Day. And uh, three, two, one, drop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And now it looks like we're calling it a night. Good night, St. Patrick's Day. It was fun, but we're all closed up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. It was such a great day. The park was closed at 11 o'clock, so we started today at 3 o'clock. So we've been here about eight hours, and we went to Hollywood Studios, rode the gondola, rode Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, came and had some green beers here at the Rose and Crown. A perfect St. Patrick's Day. I'm just so happy that I was able to be back in the parks, and hopefully some more reservations will come available so I'm able to actually grab one to come back. And if not, then probably like the 22nd, 23rd? Who knows? Anywho's. Happy St. Patrick's Day, friends, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!